What's going on internet? So today I'm going to do a quick review of the Eco Blaster Pressure Washer from World's Best Graffiti Remover. And I had the system for a good bit, but I only had to break it out uh, for the first time the other day. And basically I got the system mainly because I do a lot of murals and I want to maintain the murals that I have. And what prompted me to actually order the system was that, you know, on a recent project I was trying to clean up a mural and I only had my sprayer to use and it just did not generate enough power so I was like I need something that I can reliably uh, use for maintaining a lot of my murals and I went on the world best graffiti remover website and I saw that they recently released a eco blaster portable pressure washer that has a I believe a 12 gallon tank on there and an engine so that you don't need to have an outside water source you can bring all the water that you need and this is right up my alley mainly because when I'm sort of cleaning up and maintaining my murals I don't have access to water all the time so this is something that is great for me the only thing that you know sort of gave me sort of a pause was that it was two thousand dollars total because you have to include shipping as well so it's about two thousand dollars just to get this but you know I'm thinking more about the long term in terms of maintaining all my murals having something reliable so I'm looking at this as an investment in the practice when it comes to maintaining uh, the murals that I do have so basically I drove by one of my murals and saw that it was tagged so it was a great time to actually break this out and actually try it mainly because I've been so busy that I haven't been able to actually break it out and put everything together and try it out. The big drawback, uh, immediately you can feel how heavy it is. So this is something that kind of requires I would say two people to comfortably move this around. I'm able to get around by myself, but I have to sort of, you know, prop it on different things and sort of lift it up in different angles. But, you know, it easily fits in my Prius, which is great because that's where I put a lot of my tools and, you know, everything that I need to repair a mural. So after I get this huge sort of case hauled to the wall, I basically opened it up and started taking everything out and trying to assemble everything which was pretty really simple um, everything is sort of really just intuitive there's not too many moving parts you have the hose you have the pressure washer you have a couple of other moving parts in there but everything's pretty much easy to assemble and then the tank holds 12 gallons so I carried two five gallon buckets of water with me. I didn't want to put it in there at the beginning mainly because it's just too heavy to haul with the water in there. So the only drawback that I had about this entire system was that it was kind of difficult to figure out how to get everything started. So you have to actually put it in a certain position and really just push that pump down. Um, in that certain position to take out the air in the system. But once I figured that out, it worked perfectly. And it starts up really easy, which is really good. I don't have to sort of uh, mess around with the engine too much. So I went straight to the wall and just started trying to blast off that paint. And as you can see, it was very difficult to sort of take off the spray paint. So I thought it was gonna be a lot easier in the chunkier areas, it came off a little bit but in the thinner areas, it took a little bit to sort of actually come off. And I had to really think back about the type of coating, the anti-graffiti coating that I used on this wall. And luckily I document everything. So when I look back at the type of coating that I used, it was the Vandal Guard anti-graffiti coating. It's affordable, but because it's affordable, it's not as high of a quality, so it's harder to take tags off. It does coat it really well and provides a protection, but to take off anything that is on top of that protective coating, you really have to have a solution. So I use the Heritage Graffiti Remover from the World's Best Graffiti Coating Company. So it's the same company that provides the pressure washer as well. They usually have an entire sort of line of graffiti remover products. And this one, basically you just spray it on the wall and you just slowly just try to agitate and just move around 
the brush on different areas and a side note you know the people that tagged the wall they tagged an area that wasn't the actual face or anything so I was super stoked on that and they said sorry about the mural so I really appreciate that they just kept it to the background area and not the face and anytime you're doing a mural in public it is something you just have to get used to because it is part of the territory repairing the wall that's what you have to sort of really get good at because it's gonna happen uh, from time to time. So once I finished putting on that layer of uh, the anti graffiti remover, I just started power washing it and it came off like butter. So you can kind of see how easily it comes off after you add that solution to the top uh, coat. Basically, it just eats away at that paint, making it easier. Uh, for everything to get power washed off. So once I get into the groove, basically it was just moving down the wall, removing it as much as I could with the amount of water that I did have. And a reminder, I had about 10 gallons of water. So I get to about this point to where, you know, this is when it ran out. So I had to go back and uh, refill up the five gallon buckets, came back to the wall, refill the tank, and then just get started again on power washing. So you can kind of see, I get a good amount off of the wall. I went back and added more of the Heritage uh, graffiti remover on top of that to some of the sort of stubborn areas and areas that I could see where, you know, basically there were some sort of uh, rem remnants of that tag and then go back and basically just do some more power washing. Overall, I really, really enjoyed uh, using this power washer. I'm so glad I got it. And I would say, you know, it is expensive, but if you're doing murals all the time, I think it's something that I would say it is a good investment. And I think if you have a ton of friends uh, that do murals as well, it's something that, you know, you can all probably chip in on one because it just makes repairing murals so much easier. I was only out here for probably 30 minutes doing the actual power washing. Everything else was just, you know, collecting water and sort of trying to set up everything. So after I finished pressure washing, I basically added another layer of protective coating just to make sure it was protected um, after sort of doing a lot of the power washing because some parts did eat through that top coat. So I wanted to make sure I added another coat. But overall, the Eco Blaster system definitely worked out. I'm glad I got it. Like I said, it, it's expensive, but it's worth it if you're doing a ton of murals. I'll keep adding these reviews of different products that I'm using for my mural practice. And like, subscribe, hit that bell notification, and I will see you next time. Peace.